Now, see this example a car is starting from rest accelerates in a straight line at constant rate of 3 meter per second square for 8 seconds. How much does the car travel in this time? So, you have to calculate distance. Now, first you see what quantities are given in this question. First one car is starting from rest it means initial velocity is 0. So, you can write u is equal to 0. Now, accelerates in a straight line at constant rate constant rate means uniform acceleration a is equal to 3 meter per second square. Now, for time 8 seconds time you have got 8 seconds you have to calculate distance. So, you have to find distance. So, I have put here question mark. Now, look at all the three equations which tells relation between all these and where we can calculate directly. So, now see second equation of motion relation between displacement and time. So, you have done s is equal to u t plus half a t square everything is given in this question s is equal to u is 0 into 8 plus half into 3 into 8 square that is a square of 8. So, now we can write a 0 ho gaya, that is 0 plus half into 3 into 64 and this you can take here 32. So, 96 meter. So, distance travelled in this time by the car is 96 meter. Let us see another example. See this example a bus is starting from rest attains a velocity of 72 kilometer per hour in 5 minutes. Assuming that the acceleration is uniform find the acceleration and distance travelled by bus for attaining this velocity. So, now see in this question bus is starting from rest means u is equal to 0 attains a velocity of 72 kilometer this is final velocity v is equal to we can write 72 kilometer per hour time t is given to you 5 minutes as i have told you si unit of time is second si unit of velocity is meter per second so better we can convert all these things in si unit so, time we can write 5 into 60 that is 300 seconds. Here velocity we can write 72 into 1000 divided by 3600 meter per second. So, this this will get cancelled and here this is 5, this is 18, this is 4. So, that is 20 meter per second. Basically, when you want to calculate convert kilometer per hour into meter per second just to multiply by 5 by 18. I have done with the proper steps, but you can directly multiply by 5 by 18. So, final velocity is this, initial velocity is 0, time is this. Now, you have to calculate acceleration. You know, first equation was V is equal to U plus A T. Here we get final velocity is 20, initial is 0 plus a into 300. So, we can write a is equal to 20 by 300 meter per second square. So, this 0, this is here 1 by 15. So, a is equal to 1 by 15 meter per second square. Now, we can calculate uh, distance we can apply the third equation third relation that we did v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s here we have done v is 20 square is equal to 0 plus 2 into 1 by 15 into s square of 20 is 400 is equal to 2 upon 15 into s so we can write s is equal to 400 into 15 divided by 2. This is here 200. So, we can write S is equal to 3000 meter. 